Hello, my name is Chris Coey. Today I'll be talking about efficient formulations and practical algorithms for conic optimization. And this is joint work with Leah Kapelovich and Juan Pablo Fiona. So we can represent any convex optimization problem in conic form, which looks like this. So here, C, B, and H are vectors, and A and G are linear maps. K is a proper cone, meaning it's convex, closed, solid, and pointed. Usually, the cone K is a Cartesian product of proper cones that are recognized by some solver. So an advantage of conic form is that there usually exists a certificate of optimality or of primal or dual infeasibility for the problem. And these certificates are simple and easy to verify. So conic interior point methods are based on the theory of logarithmically homogeneous self-concordant barrier functions for proper cones. So we define an exotic cone K as a proper cone for which we can implement fast LHSCB oracles for either K or its dual cone K star, but not necessarily both. Our open source conic interior point method solver, Hypatia, supports exotic cones. And we've already predefined 23 exotic cones through Hypatia's generic cone interface. This is the first time that many of these cones and barriers have been implemented. And for some of these cones, we actually develop new low parameter LHSCBs with nice oracles. And I'll describe later what that means. So other conic solvers currently recognize only a small subset of Hypatia's cones. You might be familiar with the non-negative, second order, PSD, exponential, and power cones. So to access these other solvers, we need to try to write ex equivalent extended formulations in terms of the cones that they understand. But for a given natural formulation using Hypatia's exotic cones, often the best extended formulation that can be understood by MOSEC, for example, is more complicated to model with or to interpret conic certificates for, or slower to construct or requires much more memory, or is slower to solve or more numerically challenging. So in recent work and in upcoming work, we look at a bunch of applied examples and we show results that really demonstrate the computational advantages of having access to all of these exotic cones and using natural formulations in Hypatia. So let's discuss Hypatia's current interface. So Given an LHSCBF for K, the oracles that we need are an initial interior point, which is just some arbitrary point in the interior of the cone, a feasibility check, which tells us whether a given point is in the interior of the cone, gradient and Hessian evaluations for the barrier, and also this new third order directional derivative oracle um, given a particular direction. So, for the predefined cones in Hypatia, our oracle implementations for these oracles are all analytic, meaning there's no expensive numerically unstable procedures such as optimization needed. And also for many cones, we implement procedures for optional oracles such as dual feasibility checks and inverse session products uh, that can further improve performance so let's look at an example cone. So the epigraph of the matrix spectral norm um, is a proper cone and it looks like this. Here, sigma one is the largest singular value. Its dual cone is the epigraph of the nuclear norm. Okay, and so that's the sum of the singular values. So we know of an LHSCB with nice oracles for the spectral norm cone, but we don't know of one for the nuclear norm cone but we might wanna use the nuclear norm cone in practice. Uh, so here's an extended formulation for that cone. We have to introduce these additional variables and this uh, linear constraint and a high dimensional PSD constraint. So an example of a problem where you might wanna use the nuclear norm cone is regularized multi-response regression. So here we wanna estimate a coefficients matrix F given some design matrix X and a response matrix Y. So here, you know, we minimize some weighted combination of the nuclear norm of the residuals and the L2 norm of the coefficient matrix. So letting L equals M equals 15 and fixing lambda, we have a graph here for the solve time, okay? So we vary K 
Now the black line is Hypatia solving the natural formulation, which is that formulation on the screen. The blue line is Hypatia solving the extended formulation, which is um, got a PSD constraint, okay, that high dimensional constraint. And then the red line is MOSEC solving that same extended formulation. So we can see that Hypatia on the natural formulation is able to scale to much larger sizes and solve in much faster times. Okay, so let's um, look at some of the background for Hypatia's algorithm. So many interior point methods solve the homogeneous self-dual embedding, which is a self-dual client feasibility problem derived from the optimality conditions. An example of such an IPM is that by Skaja and Yeh from 2015. So this algorithm fixes some drawbacks of early non-symmetric conic IPMs. It also achieves the best known iteration complexity for IPMs. The algorithm traces approximately the central path of the homogeneous self-dual embedding down to a conic certificate if one exists. And it relies on an observation by Nestor that good prediction directions can be obtained if the current iterate is near the central path. It also relies on the fact that dual cone feasibility is guaranteed by central path proximity. So we don't actually need a dual cone feasibility check. And importantly, it only needs a few tractable oracles for the primal cone. We don't need dual oracles. So in a recent paper, we improved the generality of this algorithm and also the performance. So first of all, we generalize it by allowing cones with dual LHSCB oracles. So for most of our cones, you know, we can only actually implement analytic oracles for either the primal cone or the dual cone, but not both. Uh, we just don't know LHSCBs for both. Um, so <clears throat> This is important because for many of our example formulations, we actually have a mixture of both types of cones, those with primal oracles and those with dual oracles. So this means we can actually solve more formulations than Skagiak can solve. And then we also improve the practical performance of the algorithm by enhancing the interior point stepping procedure. So first of all, we use a less restrictive central path proximity condition, allowing us to step further on a given iteration. We also adjust the search directions using that new third order directional derivative oracle and by searching along a quadratic curve instead of a line. And finally, we combine the prediction and centering phases into a single phase. So let's look at what that intuitively looks like. So here, imagine inside the black line is the projection of the feasible region of our client problem. So we start at some initial interior point and um, we follow the central path down to this final point, which provides us with a conic certificate. So the central path is a trajectory from the initial point to this final point. So Skagi yet uses this tight proximity restriction around the central path. And it starts by taking a prediction step, which is tangent to the central path, and then it centers that iterate, uh, takes it towards the central path, okay? And it repeats that process until it has approximately converged. So our first enhancement is to widen that central path neighborhood. Um, and as you can see, that can allow us potentially to step further uh, and potentially take fewer iterations. Okay, now our second enhancement is to introduce the third order directional derivative and search along a curve, okay? So you can see that these curves here, they actually um, give us a better approximation of the central path and potentially can allow us to reduce the number of iterations we take. So we perform um, the curve search and use the third order directional derivative on both the prediction and the centering steps. And finally, we, combine the prediction and centering into a single phase. So you can see here, uh, potentially that can further reduce the number of iterations. Okay, so to test um, these enhancements, we come up with a benchmark set of 379 instances generated from 37 different applied examples covering all of Hypatia's cones. 
Most of these examples actually have multiple formulations with different cones. So it ends up being hundreds of different formulations. So for most of the instances, we use solved tolerances of around 10 to the negative seven, which is fairly standard for interior point methods. Okay, and here's some histograms summarizing those instances. On the left, we have the instance sizes. So this is the sum of the affine dimensions. On the right, we have the number of exotic cones that make up the Cartesian product cone in the problem. So we don't set any time or iteration limits on these instances. And below, we're gonna report shifted geometric means over all the instances solved. So each uh, row in this table corresponds to a particular stepper. So we start with basic, which is essentially skaja yeah. So it's generalized skaja yeah with no performance enhancements, okay? And then on the second row, we have the proximity enhancement, which is the wider neighborhood of the central path. We can see that it solves a very similar number of instances overall, but the number of iterations has improved by over 35%. And the solve time has improved by nearly 40%. And then on the third line, using the third order directional derivative and the curve search, uh, that improves our iterations um, compared to prox by 55%. And it improves the time by 45%. And finally, um, combining the prediction and centering phases that um, again solves a fairly similar number of instances, but reduces the iteration count by nearly 40% and improves the solve times by over 15%. So overall, comparing basic with combined, we see that the iterations improve by at least 80% and the solve time improves by at least 70%. So we're very happy with these results. In the paper, we actually go into a lot more detail and we look at particular sub timings for algorithmic components. And we were able to sort of understand intuitively how these enhancements are improving the iterations and timings. Okay. So here's some performance profiles uh, for the iteration counts and solve times for basic, which is like Skagia and combined, which is the final stepper with all of the enhancements. So we can see that the iteration count improves on every instance that solves and the solve time improves on nearly every instance. And the size of these improvements are quite substantial. So thank you for listening and please check out Hypatia, which is fully open source um, at our GitHub repo. And then you can find all of the examples, all of the instances, um, all of the options, and scripts that will allow you to reproduce our results.